Yo guys, my name is Snowmad, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple trap beat in LMS. Now, LMS is a free DAW, but honestly, you can get a lot out of it if you just know how to use it. You know, just like any other DAW, you know, you can really make beats that are just as good as FL Studio. It may be a little harder, and you might have to do a little more steps to get like as fluid as with it as FL Studio, because FL Studio makes a lot of things easier. If you d can't afford FL Studio for some reason, you can't run FL Studio on your computer, LMS is a very good option. So first thing that we're gonna do is remove all of these things except for the beat and baseline editor. Now, we don't even need any of this. We're just gonna go straight into the beat and baseline editor. Okay, so now that we're in the beat and baseline editor, you're gonna have a kick here, but the kick does not sound good. So we're just gonna click the gear here and press remove this track. Now what you wanna do is open this up and where the instrument plugins are and go scroll down to where Vestige is and drag that in, just click and drag. Okay, so now we have Vestige dragged in. I think we're gonna click Vestige and we're gonna make sure this white square here is on C5. And make sure it's there. Now we have no VST plugin loaded. We're gonna click that folder and we're gonna have all our VSTs here. Now these VSTs are the ones that I have specifically downloaded. So if you want me to make a video on how to like create a folder like this, let me know in the comments below and leave a like. But basically once you download your VSTs that you like, and all these are free by the way too. But basically once you download all your VSTs that you like, you basically just choose one here. So I'm gonna choose synth one. Okay, so now that you have synth one loaded up, I'm gonna actually click out of here, right click this and go to open piano roll. Now that I'm in piano roll, I'm gonna choose a key. It doesn't even matter what key it is. You know, I'm just gonna choose a random key, but this will just make sure that our beat sounds good and it really makes it much easier to figure out a melody. So if you struggle with making chord progressions and melodies, choosing a key and doing scale highlighting will make it much easier. I'm just gonna click E, I'm going to make it Aeolian. So now, as you can see, we have all of these notes highlighted that are in our key. So now, basically, all we know is that if you click on this, it'll be in the same key. And it really, like, zones down, scales down, like, because this can be very intimidating for new producers. So if you have scale highlighting right here, you'll be able to make melodies much quicker and much faster. Okay, so now what you want to do is just click any note here and just extend it. But this is just so... But this is just so when we are clicking our sounds, it can be playing in the background, as you can see. So as you can see, whilst we are choosing our sounds, we won't have to like click on this piano to hear the sound. We can just here playing in the background it makes it much much quicker to just find a sound that you enjoy so basically i'm just gonna find like a simple sound a little chord sound and i'll be back once i find that okay so i basically found the sound it's a simple little chord sound I'll let you hear it okay so that's like the chord sound that i chose and now i'm just going to create a very very simple chord progression since this is a simple tutorial so since this is a beginner's tutorial i won't go like super crazy with like the chord progressions not that i do anyway but i just won't go like too difficult but basically the rule of thumb for creating a trap beat because we have the scale highlighting it makes it very very easy and all we have to do to make it sound nice is skip one of these highlighted notes so if we go from here to here and then we skip this one and then we go here and this chord will always sound nice as you can hear it won't sound bad it won't sound too clunky or too trash it'll always sound good so whenever you're making chords just skip one of these and it'll sound good and you can always keep adding them on adding them on and removing even like this one and it'll still sound decent so the rule of thumb is just skip one of these notes and you should be good. So now I'm gonna create my chord progression and I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay, so I finished the chord progression now and I'll let you guys hear it.
Okay, so as you guys can see, I didn't go too crazy with it. It's just very, very simple. I'm pretty sure anyone can do this once you figure out the skipping the, the line rule. So now that we're done with the chord progressions, we're gonna move on. And I like to do the top melody like last after we're done with all the drums. So I'm just gonna move on to making the drums. So I have a folder right here where we go all the way to my home and then music. And I basically created a folder where I have all my drum kits. Once again, if you want me to make a video on it on how to make like a folder where all your sounds and all your drum kits are leave a comment leave a like and i will do that basically these are all drum kits i have downloaded for free online all on reddit my friend gave them some to me that's all it really is so we have all of this so now i'm just going to choose some sounds and the first sound that i like to go with is a clap so i'm just going to this kbz kit shout out kbz and i'm going to choose Clap that I like. I like this text clap because it's nice and rich. So we're gonna go here. So we drag that in, but as you can see, these are like really wide. It's almost like like a trash TV kind of way. Basically, this is gonna be this is just one bar. And as you can see, these are four bars. So we want this to have four bars as well. We're gonna go over here and click this three times. One, two, three. So now we have one bar, two bar three bar well technically you have one two three four four measures four bars and that's what we need because the chord progression was four measures and this is four measures so now we're good so, but basically where we want to place the claps is very simple we're going to not put it right at the start because it'll just sound weird we're going to skip that we're going to put it in the middle place that right there i'm going to place it in the middle of all of these four bars that'll make it sound good okay so now that we're done with the clap the next thing i like to do is go to the hi-hats so now we're just going to choose a hi-hat sound that I like and I'll be back. Okay, so I like this order hi-hat. We're just going to drag that in. And basically, I'm not going to go too crazy with the hi-hats. I'm just going to do a simple two-step. And I know in FL Studio, you can just press a button and it'll do this for you. But in LMS, it's a bit, it's not harder, but it's basically like more work. So basically, we just have to click all these in. We're going to start at the first note. And then we're going to skip one and then we're going to click that and we're going to do this for all of it okay so now that i've added the hi-hats in here you can sort of start to see that it's kind of starting to sound like a trap beat now of course we're not nowhere near done the biggest thing about a trap beat is those booming booming 808s I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna choose one of these 808s that I think I like. Okay, so I like this bullet 808. I'm just gonna drag that in here. And the 808s is a little different because the 808s sometimes make it very crunchy and make it beat sound trash if you don't do anything to them. So I'm gonna click this thing right here. Basically, once again, we want this square, white square to be on C5 so our 808s are in tune. So now we're gonna go over all the way over here to this graph line thing click this turn the amount up all the way and then turn the attack up just a little this is because when you click in the 808s there's usually like a little bit of a clicking sound at the start which you want to get rid of and this will get rid of that crunchiness now that we have that there's just one more thing so we're going to go over here to fx add effect and press eq and click this equalizer right here okay so now that we have the equalizer open basically we're going to take this one knob drag this all the way to around 73 74 and usually this is like the baseline for like making sure that your 808s don't like sound so crunchy and what is it like a staticky with your melody because if we haven't done this our whole beat would just sound so mushed in and crunchy and trash if you do this trust me on most headphones it'll sound good okay so now that we're done with this we can just exit out and we can create our 808 pattern and i like creating an 808 pattern first on here and then we're gonna go into piano roll and make sure it's in key so now i'm just gonna create a simple 808 pattern okay so when creating your 808 pattern you usually want it to hit only when the hi-hats are hitting you don't want to put it here or else it'll sound just weird as you can see so you can see how that really just sounded off sounded weird we're gonna place this right here and usually to make it more bouncy you want to place it on the hi-hat right before the clap and that makes it add a little more bounce so basically just have fun experiment and create your own 808 patterns it'll make your producing and production much more unique i'll be back once i'm done with my 808 pattern okay so i'm done with my 808 pattern i'll just let you hear it without the main course playing because it gets kind of annoying but here you go
As you guys can see, it may sound good now, and it does sound good even with this. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that our 808s are in key, and this one, trust me, this will make your 808s much more better, and if you're sending your beats out to an artist, they'll take you a lot more seriously if your 808s actually are in key. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go all the way back to our synth, open a piano roll, control shift, and drag all of these bottom notes. After you drag all of them and they're all highlighted, we're going to press Ctrl C and just copy them. We're going to exit out of this, go into our 808, open the piano roll, and press Ctrl V. So now we have all the notes where we remember. This is where we want our 808s to hit. So basically what we're going to do is, as you can see this is in B4, we're going to take this, drag it to where our 808 hits. So our 808 hits here and ends here. And this is where another one hits, so we're going to add another one here. As you can see, it ends perfectly, ironically, there. So now we're just going to add this one. I'm going to drag this all the way over to here. But now, as you can see, this 808 hits over here is a C. So we're going to drag this all the way over here and drag it so it fits. And basically, we're going to do this for all of it. And I'll be back once I do it for all of it. Okay, so now that we have all our 808s dragged into that pattern, we can delete all of these 808s that we had in before because obviously we don't want two 808s hitting at the same time. I'm going to drag this back here because this is where it was before. But basically, this is our 808 pattern. And honestly, we're done with the 808s at this point. You can mess with the velocities if you want them to hit really loud or something or make it like very subtle and quiet. I'm just going to leave it here because, you know, it's a simple beginner tutorial. So I'm just going to leave that there. And now I usually add some hi-hat rolls or hi-hat stuff, but I don't want to go too crazy. You guys can figure that out on your own. And if you want me to make a more advanced tutorial, just let me know in the comments. I'm just going to keep this beat very, very bare bones, very, very simple. So now what we're going to do is add a little bit of a top melody because the top melody will make sure that your beat doesn't get too stagnant over time, you know, because you don't want your beat to just be this over and over and over. You sort of want something like change it up a little so what we're gonna do is go back to our instrument plugins go back to vestige drag that in there go into open piano roll obviously click your note in wherever you want it to be and we're gonna look for another sound that goes well with the synth sound so i'll be back once i find a good synth sound and also once again we want this white square to be on c5 so i found the sound i want to use for my top melody and here i'll let you guys hear it so yeah, basically that's gonna be my sound for the top melody. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna open the piano. Obviously we have it open. And now we're just gonna create a top melody. Usually you wanna go like our chords or in this area. So usually I like going higher, but you can go wherever you want. Honestly, the top melody is very vibrant. But you just wanna create a very, very simple, very, very bare bones melody. And honestly, just have fun. Creating melodies honestly can never be taught unless you like, want to go super deep into like piano theory and like music theory and all that stuff everything is done by ear all these top producers metro boomin pureborn they just go off by whatever they think sounds good so you don't really want to do a bunch of like oh a g sharp a sharp whatever you don't really need all that just go off whatever you think sounds good and you should be good so I'm just going to create a very simple top melody, something anyone can do. And if you're copying this video along, you should be able to do it very easily as well. So I'm just going to be back once I create a very simple top melody. Okay, so I'm basically done with my top melody and I'll let you guys hear it. This is really all you need. Usually I would add a kick or I would add a hi-hat roll, some open hi-hats, make the snares or claps better. But honestly, this is a very chill, low-key trap beat. And I think most people will be happy with it. And obviously more tutorials are coming and I'm gonna make it better. So now basically, you wanna get rid of all that stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is make all these sounds in our beat and bass line editor go into the song editor. So we can actually create an actual song. So now I'm gonna press control, go into this dotted area of the sound, click it and just drag it over. And I'm gonna do this for all of these. Okay, so now that I've dragged all the sounds over, basically we're done with our beat. I mean, you could adjust the volumes while you're, you can basically adjust your volumes while you're going along, but honestly, we are done with our song now. All there is left is to arrange it. And this is very simple. You just start off with the chords usually, you know, add the clap and then boom, the 808 drop and then 
you know, eventually the top melody plays along with it and stuff. And honestly, you could just mess with it, do whatever you want. If you want me to go real, real in depth, I'll do that later. Just leave a like and subscribe. But honestly, I'm just gonna arrange this beat right now and I'll let you guys hear at the end. And this is gonna be it for me today. So thank you for watching and like and subscribe if this helps and comment if you guys have any questions. I'm gonna make sure to answer as much of them as possible. But yeah, have a good day guys.